Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day. Another? Look, well, you know it. <laughs> you know it, yes, yes, yes. Hello people, how are you doing? Good? Good, we are great. excellent. We are great. So, introduce yourself, who are you guys? Uh, I am Danai from Greece. And I'm Yorgos, also from Greece. Yes, and you are a couple? A couple. Nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Well, welcome to Sweden. Let's walk. Well, Around Stockholm. Yeah, let's walk around Stockholm. Oh, it's red already. Let's the red light. No, no, let's wait, let's wait, wait, wait. Yeah, so the thing is in uh, in Sweden, it's not allowed to go to the red light, but there's no fine or ticket if you walk to the red light, which means you can walk to the red light. <laughs> but yeah. you shouldn't. But so you we shouldn't, <laughs> we shouldn't, so we don't, but yeah, that's how it goes. So how was your stay in, uh, in uh, Stockholm? Was it good? It was exciting. Yes? Yeah, we really liked it. But for you, it was the first time? Yes, it was different, uh, it was much different than uh, Greece. So that's the point, to see different places. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So you that's like traveling right. together a lot or? <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> huh? We're not sure We're not about sure. that. <laughs> <laughs> you, because you like different things? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to walk and he doesn't? <laughs> uh. Uh, for me it's the third time. Yes. <laughs> nice, nice. So, you, were you just typing in Stockholm on the? Uh, yes, I want to say something more than that. It's to you. Oh yes, yes, and yes. You were the amazing answer to that <laughs> <laughs> request. A lot of people told me that they first always see Stockholm walks, you know, the other channel, and then they come to my channel because I'm talking and they are not talking. But this is the meeting point. We call this the mushroom. The mushroom. Yeah, because this is a going out area. So a lot of people they meet here, you know, like oh let's meet eight o'clock on the under the mushroom like this. Because you know this is a bit of a posh area where you're staying now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's yes. a lot of expensive shops and if you take something to drink here, very expensive. Um uh, Stur very expensive. Yes, but this whole area here this around area yeah. I thought that uh, this was a UFO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of <laughs> yeah. the first time. <laughs> It looks a bit like a UFO, yes. So what are you guys doing in Greece? Like, uh, what, do you, what do you work with? Um, it's complicated. Complicated? <laughs> on you? Easier? <laughs> yeah, it's easier. Oh, okay. For the state, for the Greek state. You work for the government? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, in general, let's say that I make uh, advertising. Okay, advertising. Yes, advertising. That doesn't sound too complicated, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I know how it is. It's always hard to explain what you're doing to yes. people. Yeah. Yes, side projects, that's right. yes, yes. <laughs> but it's the same with me because a lot of people ask me what, but I do, I don't do one thing. I do about four different things. Four different that's your case. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is, this is one of them. So yeah, because <laughs> it's also weird for people when they ask me, what do you do? And I'm like, yeah, I'm walking around with a camera in Stockholm and you know, <laughs> it's funny. So How's when, your new Sorry? How's your new laptop? My new laptop is great, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, because my old laptop, when I had to do the, the videos, it took all day. My new laptop is great, yeah, thanks. Sorry, George, for interrupting you. No. <laughs> we, have to, we have to just chit chat. Um, that's, uh, I have seen many mushroom like installations in the city. Is yes. It because of the rain to be protected. Or what's the use mm. for this except for meeting with other people? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. To be honest, it's a very good question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know actually. I never thought about it. But have you seen the lions as well? Yes. Like on Drottninggata, there's a lot of lion yeah, shaped yeah, yeah, places too, yes. And uh, on the buildings there are sometimes lions. And and how many days did you stay here? Uh, it's our uh, fifth, fifth day. Fifth day, yeah. Yes. That's that. That sounds about uh, right. Yeah. Yes, it's uh, kind of easy to see the town because uh, when you see it on Google Maps, you think that it's a big city. But it's not. But it's not. No. <laughs> the center, the city center. The center, yes. Yes, center. and you go to uh, Södermalm, also. Yes, yes. Yes, like Meerburga Platz uh, and all those places. And did you have some uh, Swedish food as well? Of course. Yes. We had Swedish breakfast. Oh, okay. Lunch. But not like uh, fish or. Um, we kind of. Uh, we 
wind is hard. Because <laughs> here they love, uh, you know, a lot of salmon and things like this. Uh, did you know what uh, uh, our first uh, buy was this cave, you know, this uh, blue um, package in the supermarket with fish? And the Kinder Boy outside. Oh, you mean Carlos ca Caviar? Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yes, Carlos Caviar is very nice. Yes, I, I personally don't eat it, but there's a lot of people. I, I don't do. <laughs> no, no, no. But also, I'm not born in Sweden, so all these typical Swedish things, yes. you know, it's. Uh, you weren't raised with these flavors. No, no. <laughs> It's a bit like, uh, I don't know, but in Australia they have Vegemite. You know this? No. Oh, it's, it's horrible. Horrible? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. I, when I was younger, I was one year in Australia and they were all like, oh, try Vegemite, try Vegemite. It's for on bread, for on toast or something. Yes. And it's like, like a spread. It's like a spread, yeah. And then you, and it looks a bit like peanut butter or something. So you think, oh, this it is good. <laughs> yeah, it looks innocent. Oh, this is good. But then it's oh, yeah. You should Google it. It's horrible. There's probably videos online of people trying it. Yeah. Oh, I like the surströmming. Surströmming, yeah. Yes. Oh, you, you know, taste yeah. No, I'm I myself. I don't eat fish. I'm a vegetarian. Oh, okay. So I don't eat fish at all. So I don't know. Yeah. Okay, you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Uh, you tried? You tried? No, no. Oh. And I don't want Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the description on Wikipedia. Yeah. It's not that fancy. I've seen people eating it and almost uh, throwing yeah. up. So yeah, because it's the smell. <laughs> yes. It's ro It's basically rotten. I think. Rotten, rotten fish. I think. Yeah. Oh my god. That's how it looks like. Anyway, I don't know, but I've never tried so. But I think Olaf he has tried. You know Olaf, my friend that I work with. Yes. Sometimes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, they yes. I'm just wondering why are they eating things uh, that smell bad? <laughs> yeah, very good question. Yeah, yeah. It's like a test. Yes. For themselves. Yeah, it's like a, almost a test. Yes. <laughs> oh, this looks nice actually. Great. I've never seen this before. It's funny. I've walked in many. There was. It looks almost Greek. Now I'm joking. No. <laughs> no. Let me check. Maybe it looks like a church or something, right? Yeah. Well, let's let's walk around here. Yeah. It's the name of the channel. Let's walk around. So. <laughs> uh, it's so funny because sometimes people tell me, Daniel, you were just walking around. I'm like, yeah, that's 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 the name of the channel. <laughs> oh wait, how's the way you be in? Yeah. Well, yes. I just want to check what this is. I don't know. Some kind of ah, oh, it's art. Who Konsnash Huset Utselling? It means art house expedition. Art house. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but it's some kind of old restaurant. But it, I think it used to be something else. It must be because it looks like a church to me almost. Yeah, but yeah. Not the, the Sign no. You know, if Olaf would be here, he would know. <laughs> he would he know. knows everything. He knows everything. everything. Yes, yes. The perfect partner, isn't Oh, perfect, he? yes. Because <laughs> I know nothing. So, yeah. You speak Swedish, right? Yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Okay. After the long yeah, years. Yeah. So. yeah, I think my Swedish is better than my English, I think. But with the children, I still speak Dutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so that does, you learn, does. But you don't speak uh, both Swedish and Dutch. Yes, yes. That's a very good beginning for someone. Yes, yes. And the oldest one also speaks some English now. Should I ask your wife? Is the first girl? Sorry. Uh, your wife. Uh, I'm not married. Oh, I'm okay. not. I'm not together with the mother of my children. That's interesting. Yes, it's the first. It's actually the first time on my channel I talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I normally we shouldn't. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Yeah. Let's unveil personal Let, life. Let's let's change the subject. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We could talk about it after the video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this question I get a lot, so it's good I bring it up at some point. Yeah, I almost get this question like every every uh, every week almost. Um, yeah, let's check out the water maybe. 
I guess you've seen it already, but... It's always nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, the weather is not that great, actually. It's a bit misty. It's my favorite. Yeah? This gloomy <laughs> weather, yeah? It's nice, but it's my favorite. And she lives in Greece. <laughs> yeah, but that's because you're so sick of the sun, maybe. I'm so sick of the sun. Yes. <laughs> Here in Sweden, it's really funny when it gets like April or May. Um, people really, they, it's almost like they worship the sun. They love it. Oh, they love it so much. Even when it's only 16, 18, 20 degrees, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really funny. Do they leave from their jobs to enjoy the sun? Yeah, and but everywhere, uh, one sitting out in the park and, you know, drinking wine and they love it. I was so surprised uh, at my first time in um, Northern Europe. Yes. I was in London. Yes. And I saw people uh, sunbathing. Only 18 uh, degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah, yeah. I was with a <laughs> jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here it's the same. Sometimes it's only 16, 18 degrees and people sit there in a the t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because uh, it was snowing uh, uh, for a few days back in Athens. Oh, and really? And schools were closed. Oh. Everything was uh, closed and not functioning. And the snow was like uh, less than one centimeter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they do that here, we have to close it the whole winter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <coughs> but now it's okay, actually. It's not so cold today. It's not. It's be very hard for you to walk uh, that early with your hands. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the holding exposed. of the camera was in the beginning very difficult because mm -hmm. you have to keep your for 30 minutes yes. in this position. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now I'm uh, I'm used to it after more than 500. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess that your left arm is much stronger than your right arm. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but I used to play tennis with my right arm, so it's oh. okay. It's okay. It's okay. You keep it balanced. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. So, have you been to the Vasa Museum over there? Uh, no. She has been. Oh, you have been? I have been. Oh. I think it's nice, but it's a bit too dark. Yes. It's very exactly. dark. I, when I was in there, I did a video there. I was like, it, it's very hard to see anything. But I think they do it to preserve the wood and things like this. Yes, yes. Like bread. Bread? Oh. Oh, if you talk better, it's okay, yeah. I don't want to be visible. No, no, no problem, no. No, you have to be really here to be visible. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, because even my hand doesn't show, see? Yes, yes. See? <laughs> Too bad for the viewers that you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, but you can say hi if you want. You can say hi to your family if they're watching, if you want. <laughs> hi, family. <laughs> Although my family isn't watching YouTube videos. <laughs> no. No, my parents not watching either, no. Imagine Greek parents. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How are Greek parents? They're very traditional. More old school. <laughs> old yeah. school. Yeah. Uh, their latest uh, smartphone is like Nokia. Nokia, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Playing snake. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good, uh, the Nokia. Then they were always like one week battery life. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now you have to charge them every three day. day. Yeah, yeah, three <laughs> times a day if you use a video. Yeah. Oh, we can go in there and go to Kungsa Gorda maybe? Yes. Oh, we can cross there. It's also funny when uh, I'm watching your videos. Yes. That people are very discreet and don't look at your eyes. But no. When you see the video, it's yes. like you're looking at your eyes because they're looking at the camera. <laughs> Yes, yes, they are. Well, they've, sometimes they're looking at the camera and, and because it's not very clear what it is. Yes. Some people think it's like a measuring device or... <laughs> you could but they are engineer. avoiding guy contact. Almost in, always. In general, yes, yes. yes. Uh, and it's a kind of a discreet... Yeah, and a little bit... Um, oh, we can just cross. Yeah. Uh, and, a, and a little bit... Um, yeah, like shy almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But really confronting someone and looking in the eyes is very uh, yes. unusual here, yes. Do they think that it's rude to have an eye contact? Not rude, um, no, not rude, no, no. 
It's just a, a habit, I guess. I don't know. Do you have any loved one um, area here? In the city? Yeah. Yeah, my favorite area is uh, Sodomon. The mm -hmm. island of Sodomon. So the area around Maria Toriet, uh, Platzen. So from Slusen, you know Slusen? Yes. Uh, from Slusen uh, backwards is my favorite. Uh, and one area I really love is um, like the waterfront in uh, Sodomon. You can walk like in the nature. Did you see my video in the snow where I saw deer on Sodomon? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. seen everything. Yes. <laughs> like two weeks ago or something like that. Yes, yeah. Exactly. That area is also my one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, let's check out the horse. What did he? A cool building as well there. Let's, let's walk here. There's another one. Another horse another. there, yes. Another day, another horse. Another day, another horse. You know it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's always funny when I meet subscribers because it's <laughs> always the same. They're like, oh, is this how you look? Yeah. <laughs> but because when you hear a voice, you kind of make an impression, right? How someone. Yeah, is and how someone looks and is it okay for you that so many people know so many things about you? <laughs> yeah, but it's you in person? Yeah, but it's not I'm very careful with what I share normally. Mm -hmm. um, except for today. <laughs> except for today, yeah. There it went it went a little wrong there, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I get a lot of que personal questions on uh, like uh, Instagram. Instagram. People always ask me, yeah, yeah. We are not that discreet, we are Greek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but the thing is, you know, when you have a YouTube channel, you always have to realize that, okay, now I'm pretty small, but it can happen that maybe one day I have 100,000 followers or like this. Of course. And then you have to be a little bit yeah. careful what you share. Like, you know, I don't want to share too much information about my children or, you know, so it gets too personal. Because mm -hmm. maybe someone in school will, you know, like, of course. yeah. Of course. So it, it's mainly to protect my, my children. That's very nice. What uh, station is here? This is Kungsta Gordon. Hmm? And Kungsta Gordon means the royal garden. Oh. Yes, because Kung means king. Uh, Trad means uh, tree. Tree. And Gordon means like uh, like garden. Garden. Yes. <laughs> so it's king's tree garden. Gordon. Know English. Uh, yeah. It's pretty easy to learn Swedish. Yeah. Especially when you see the name here, see of the metro station, it's King Tree Garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Swedish is actually not that hard. But this is a uh, really? beautiful art inside the stadium here. A uh, station, I mean, not stadium. Swedish words look very scary because they're huge and Compressed. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, long words. Yeah, yes. yeah. They put them together. The words. Yes. We've seen a sign. Well, in, uh, wait a second. Have you ever seen yes. Greek? <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you say you say Swedish words are hard. It sounds like Greek to me. <laughs> yeah, it's the brain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you also have very long words, and even mm. even the family names are very difficult sometimes in Greek. I think. I had a friend and his name, his last name was something like Katsifatselaliadis <laughs> or something, like very long. I was like, I was like, oh my God, is this a last name? Like, <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's like that with every language if you don't know it, right? Yeah, it yes. becomes impossible. Have you seen my ice skating video? No. From there. Uh -huh. It's like before Christmas, I, the ice rink, I, I did a video here. I had a lot of work um, for Christmas. That's <laughs> uh, okay, you don't have to watch everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not angry. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go back to work, work tomorrow? Or? Uh, 
from Andre. Oh, Monday, great. I took off my, my Friday to digest what's yes. what happened. Digest and do the washing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I sometimes leave my suitcase for like two weeks, you know, like... Uh, oh, you're so my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Dirt always unpacks everything uh, before he even enters the room. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I can so. see that they still have some lights from Christmas or some yeah, yeah. decoration in a few places. It's very late, I know. Yeah. Here they have it still. It's weird actually yes. because it's almost like March. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is the ice rink, it's very nice. And here they have many events like music concerts and things like this. Mm. Do people actually use this, this place? Every day. Every day? Every day. I mean, especially around uh, in January and around Christmas. At night there's hundreds of people ice skating here. <laughs> hundreds. And they have music, you know, they have speakers and sometimes they even have like a DJ here. And very nice. It's very nice, yeah. But now, yeah, it's like the end of the season, so not so much now. See, they have the big pile of snow there. Do you see it? Yes. That's fun. Why do they keep the snow there? For the, maybe for the... Time. Yeah, I think it's because uh, they collect it from here, maybe, mm -hmm. from the ice machine, and then it becomes, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay. Not 100% sure, to be honest. Sense. Yeah. So I don't think it's natural snow, maybe. But a lot of the tourists, they take pictures in there. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, there's so much snow in Sweden. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. And this is a very famous tourist uh, because the cherry blossom is coming yeah. here in the spring here. No, spring for me. Spring. spring, I think April, May is my favorite time of the year. When the winter is over and this all the, the trees are coming blossoming. And this is completely uh, pink here in the summer and in the spring. So beautiful. And then here there's water. Like in the summer. Oh, it's uh, like a fountain. Yeah, it's a fountain. Oh. See all these, they're, they're like... And this and there's like one meter of water in here in the summer. But now we could freeze. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think maybe first of May, maybe they start here. And then here the guys play chess, you know, on this uh Really? Yeah. yeah. This is the most famous uh, chess spot in, in Stockholm. All summer, the play in here. yeah, the old guys play here. <laughs> yes, on this one, the big, they have the big uh, pieces. Yeah. yeah. They have a very interesting imagination. Yeah. yeah. No, but it's organized by the city. See, they play here too on these oh, tables. That's right. So it's like really officially. It wasn't a joke. Yeah. Yes. You know, all the old guys sit there and drink coffee and play. Like yeah. Do you believe that uh, NK is similar to the Harrods? Harrods, yes, very similar. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's the same, uh, same idea. So here I was actually walking on yesterday's walk. No, actually, no, it was there on that side. Yeah. Okay. okay uh, so we'll go here. We walk a little bit back in the direction of your place. So you don't get lost. Uh, you maybe know your way already a little bit or? Uh, no, I think we're fine. Yeah, you know your way? Yeah. After three times. <laughs> oh, we're very close to, uh, it's just over there, so. We made a circle, so. Yeah. And you know, I always talk about Max as well. Yes. In the video. Yes. I had seen uh, the carpet uh, on Christmas. 
Christmas. Oh. Do they used to place it every Christmas there at the carpet? You mean you normal? mean Bibliotheks Gatan over there? Yes. Let's have a look. Let's go there now. No, no, they don't have any carpet. Oh, they don't have it now. They used to have <laughs> oh. red carpet on oh. Christmas when I came first time in Stockholm. Hmm. And they haven't seen it um, since then. Yeah, it must be for. Yeah, it must be for Christmas. Yeah, it's over there, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, let's let's walk there because then we can walk back uh, to um, to the li library area. Yeah. So you rented an apartment? Was it Airbnb or? Yeah, it was an nice. Airbnb. Nice. It was great, and um, the location was wonderful. Yes, in the middle of the city. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Everything was so close. But you used the metro or? No. Walking, everyone. Walking, yes. You didn't take the metro once? No way. No. Oh. Not even once. Oh, it's nice and cheap. It's such a small center and it doesn't uh, prevent you from using the metro. Yes. <laughs> because it's very beautiful and it's very small. Yeah, and it's also the best way to, to see. But we did go to Arlanda, uh, sorry, uh, to Uppsala. Oh, even Uppsala? Yeah. Oh! So we took the train... Uh, and you pass Solentuna, where I live. Uh, yes. 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 It was like New York for a moment there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's just a few moments where, where they cross from the train to the metro. It gets really busy, but that's it. Normally it's not so busy here, I think. Ah, let's go. Uh. Norman's Toy. Toy means square, T O R G. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're doing here. But. They had a celebration or an event two days ago here. Oh, okay. Now this is just commercial, oh. some brand or some pop up store. It is too unfamiliar, this. There are so uh, this silence. It <laughs> looks very unfamiliar to us. Oh yes. Because uh, have you been uh, in Greece? It's like everywhere stuff. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. They speak loud. <laughs> yes. It's so crowded. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's very true. Yeah. But even I, I remember when I came to Sweden, I noticed that. I'm, I was like, sometimes I'm even like, where is everyone? Yeah, yes, exactly. huh? yeah, yeah. That's, exactly. that's the feeling. <laughs> because, you know, when I came to Sweden, I lived in Solna, which is six kilometers from here. Yeah, and I was living in a flat with 14 floors, 14, very big flat, thousands of people. <laughs> and sometimes in the, in the day I was walking there and there was no one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, and, and something wrong. Yeah, and then I was listening and I was like, where? I hear no one screaming. I hear no one. It's uh, even with thousands of people living there. It was really quiet always, <laughs> like even at the night. And yeah. How so did you get used to this silence? No, we get used to it. Yeah, it's just an automatic process. You adapt to your environment, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Because it's the same thing. Like when I came here in the beginning, when I was on the train, I sometimes just started to talk to people. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, random people, right? And they were really surprised that I started to speak to them. Like, oh my, do, like I was really crazy. How yeah. do they respond? Uh, very they surprised, yeah. Very surprised. Other than surprise? Uh, no, they, no, they talk. They, they don't say no, friendly. no. Yeah, yeah, always, yes. Yes, they would never say, oh, go away, uh, <laughs> weirdo. Not like that, but just a little bit. Oh, 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 someone's talking to me, like. <laughs> Initiative uh, 
to talk to someone, but they accept uh, with uh, Exactly, pleasure. exactly like that, yes. Is it easy to make friends uh, in Stockholm? For me it is pretty, it was pretty easy, I think, yes. But there's also a lot of, you know, international people. Mm. And, uh, your most uh, friends are international people or uh, um, Swedish? Both, both. <laughs> yeah. But it was no problem for me. But I'm a very social person anyway, so exactly. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The most difficult part uh, for me from what you are doing is that you have to talk all the time. Yes. <laughs> Not let the video be silent. Yeah, but the thing is that, you know, when I started this, it was difficult because then I thought about what I have to, had to say. But, but I, I kind of learned that when you're walking by yourself, you're thinking, you're having a lot of thoughts, yeah. right? Yeah. So, for example, when we would walk here and I see this street and I'm, then I'm thinking, oh, I'm walking on Bibliotheks Gotham. Mm. So what I do is just I say what I think. So, yeah. in, so instead of just walking around and I can just go like, oh, this is a nice tree. But that's normally you would think that, yes. right? You wouldn't say it. So you just have to learn to say what you think. And then it's no problem. <laughs> But, but it's very difficult in the beginning. Like, very nice process. Because when you walk somewhere, sometimes you just think, this is a lovely day, right? But you don't yes. say it. You yes. don't say I it. Never say this. But, but right. now I, I've learned that I just say it as well when I think it. And once you learn that, it's, it becomes really easy. But, but I used to work in, uh, in like podcasts and things like this. So I've done other projects where I have yes. to, talk. to I talk a lot. So, so Talking is no problem for me, it's just that you have to learn about, yeah, keep it going, basically. See now, so now we're back. I think this is I a... I love this building. We walk to the mushroom, then we finish it up. Because yeah. yes. we have uh, 33 minutes already, so... Okay. Perfect. So now, when you watch the premiere, you guys are in it. Yeah. Uh, this video would be tomorrow, tomorrow. Great. Oh, what a surprise. I yeah. think that uh, I would love to say hello yes. to my family. Yeah. Could I? Yes, you can. Yeah. You want? Okay. Hello. <laughs> can I? You can say something in Greek if you want. Yes, it's great. Awesome. Subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thumb, thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. We do it there, the thumbs up, okay? Yeah. We can do all three. This ah, that was is uh, the border between uh, normal and uh, Södermal. Östermalm. Östermalm. Yes. Yes, exactly. So, if you go to the left, you have yeah. Vasastan. Mm -hmm. Here's Östermalm, and behind us is uh, Normal. Yes. Right. So we're, it's right on the corner. And this area here, specific, is called Stureplan, mm -hmm. which is there's a lot of nightclubs here uh, in this area. Really? Yes. This is the nightclub area. Yeah. Uh, too bad that we just found out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before but we have back. so many in Greece. So yeah, no problem. problem. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. So we do a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh, thank you for watching. See you all tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye.